NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Town and country where there's always a party. Yes, every weekend there's something to do. And there's always great food for you too. Lamb, finger food, steak sandwiches, broasted wings, and much, much more. It's a party and you're invited. Come to town and country. Hello and welcome to News Watch. State. Representative Aaron Bernstein of the 10th Legislative District released the following. Following a number of months of negotiation and legislative intervention, Representative Aaron Bernstein, Representative Beaver, Butler, Lawrence County today praised Elwood City Broth Council for adopting changes to the Elwood Electric which he said will ensure consumer protection, price stability, and increased transparency for residents. The action came after Aaron Bernstein and Elder Vogel issued a letter to the council last month urging immediate implementation of several consumer-based changes. Bernstein's legislative legislation requiring the broth to adopt changes passed the House in April and was awaiting consideration in the Senate. The changes adopted or being considered by the Council include providing advance notice of rate structures, adhering to PUC requirements for electricity, shutoff reduction, and re reactivation fees and prohibitive costs for restart of service after shutoff increased payments periods for billing and increased opportunities for public input on policies. This is an issue we've been working on to get involved since the first day of my office. So this is a big win for Elwood City residents at Bernstein. These good faith efforts by council prove it's serious, but resolving long-standing issues with Elwood Electric. Bernstein also noted that the result of the consumer protection price stability increased transparency changes accepted by council will rescind efforts to bring his legislative controls. Okay, so uh, that in for, from Aaron Bernstein. We're going to take this break and when we return The Cedars is a great restaurant with outstanding Mediterranean food. The Cedars takeout menu is second to none, featuring pizza, stromboli, hoagies, their famous lamb on the rod, and so much more. So when you're hungry and you want that Newcastle taste, make it Cedars. Now it's in Newcastle, 827 Addis Street on the east side, and call Cedars E724-658-9260. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens and many challenging shots your crowd will applaud a short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood and Youngstown it's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Quarter Report well before we do anything 
It's Friday in Western Pennsylvania, and that can only mean one thing, football. Now, tonight, NCTV 45 will have on the newcastle Shaler game from Taggart Stadium in Newcastle. Tomorrow, we will be airing the Union Scotties, and they'll be visiting the Shenango Wildcats. And uh, elsewhere in high school action, you have Mohawk and Laurel getting together. That's at Laurel High School. You have Sharon. They're going to be uh, at the Wilmington Greyhounds. And uh, Elwood City Lincoln will be going to Beaver Falls. Now, uh, hopefully you get out to the games and uh, just enjoy. Over in Major League Baseball, the Pirates in an all-important series, they're up in uh, Milwaukee taking on the Brewers this weekend. While the Indians, they're taking on the Royals down in Kansas City. Elsewhere in Major League Baseball, the Yankees are at the Orioles. The White Sox are at the Tigers. The Padres are at the Dodgers. The Washington Nationals, they're at the New York Mets. The Cubs at home against the Reds and Phillies, they're on the road against the Blue Jays. Just to give you some uh, idea what's going on in Major League Baseball. Now, your late games will feature the Braves at the Marlins, the Red Sox at the Rays, the Athletics, they're at the Twins, the Cardinals are at the Rockies, the Mariners at the Diamondbacks, and the Houston Astros. They're taking on the Los Angeles Angels. Now that was the Cedar Sports Corner Report, and we're going to take this time out and we'll be back. NC TV 45, Newcastle, the train. You deserve a revitalization at Mary Turner's Day Spa and Beauty Boutique. The staff will make sure you relax and rejuvenate with their high quality products and services. They take pride to give you a tranquil environment. Mary Turner's Day Spa at 2539 Wilmington Road in New Shannock Township. Call to book a spa appointment at 724-657-5156. That's 657-5156. Welcome to News Watch. It's a concert in the park, the Michael Trop Brothers. Yes, they're performing and invite you to Wishful Wendy's Wishful Wednesday Productions event. This is Sunday, the 26th of August, 3 p.m., Pearson Park. And, you know, the Michael Trop brothers always have some great, great music. And bring your own lawn chair, sit, relax. And uh, maybe uh, you bring a cooler or picnic basket or stop by the concession stand at the pool and uh, just munch and listen to some great music on Sunday. It's a Sunday in the park, Pearson Park. Now we're going to take this break and we'll be right back after the Nico and Sons Sales and Service, 347 East Washington Street, Newcastle, has lawnmowers of every type. Zero turn country clippers, Bayme USA, 42 inch to 54 inch cut. Batteries by Oregon. They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons, 724-652-6911. Dilvin Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities. Lush fairways and great greens. And many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. 
It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Take a step back into time at Lombardo's Apothecary at 1230 South Mill Street. We'll take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have cards, snacks, all kind of toiletries and health and beauty aids that will make you feel great. They also have prescriptions too. It's Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. Hello and welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather. Well, after last night's overnight low of 56, how's your Friday looking? Sunshine, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine with a high of 80. Now, tonight for those high school football games, partly cloudy, a low of 61. And things are going to shape up to be what I would think is a pretty good weekend. Saturday... Sunny, a high of 80. Now, Saturday night, clouds build in. 40% chance of rain, mostly cloudy, 64. I think it'll be fine. You'll get the football game in with the Union Scotties and Shenango Wildcats. Sunday, absolutely gorgeous, partly sunny and 84. Sunday night, mostly cloudy and 69. And Monday, partly sunny high of 85. Now Monday night, partly cloudy, a low of 70. Tuesday, mostly sunny and 88. Tuesday night, partly cloudy, 70. And um, your Wednesday, partly sunny, 85. 40% chance of rain because of the humidity. And then Wednesday night, mostly cloudy and 66. Chance of precipitation Wednesday night is 50%. And then Thursday, mostly cloudy and 81. The chance of precipitation stays at 50% for Thursday. Now, this has been Lawrence County 45 weather. And, um, you know, I didn't give you a look at radar. Or I didn't mention it. But uh, I'll check you out on the weekend looks to be just a great one so um we're going to take this break standing by there's more the needs the eye you gotta give them a new castle i try NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Welcome back, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed uh, NCTV 45's News Watch nightly. We attempt to bring you news and views and stuff that is going on that probably affects you that you might miss from one day to the next. And as you're sitting around tonight, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And by all means, get a second cup of coffee and maybe another piece of pie. And have a pleasant evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great evening, everybody, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Got my ticket for the midnight plane, and it's not easy.